Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Danny. What's up, brother? How you doing, my friend? Happy, happy day. Today, we're going to start with the aliens, with the star seeds. See what kind of uh, energy we're dealing with today. What the um, star seeds have for us. What kind of knowledge, wisdom, and guidance do would be helpful for the collective in this interesting time that we're all living in. Because, whoo, it is an interesting time. If you haven't been paying attention, we're living in an interesting time. So, let's see what the star seeds have for us today for this glorious, glorious, glorious Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? I don't know anymore. Does it really matter anymore? Earth School. Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Welcome to Earth School. Are you learning? Are you paying attention? Hmm. It's interesting because I've been saying I feel like I go to uh, dream school every night when I go to bed. I, uh, you know, have some kind of dreams. And holy Toledo, did I have a strange dream. Not even a strange dream, but a very interesting dream. Um... Just as I was waking up, so much so it woke me up. And I was like, oh, shit. And I'm very happy I woke up because the dream was not heading, <laughs> was not heading in a nice place. Um, so I'm really happy I woke up and was like, oh, shit, that was just a dream. Thank goodness, because it was a little bit crazy. Let's see what the book has to say about Earth School. Earth School. Welcome to Earth School, my friends. Welcome to Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Planet Earth is a great initiation for the soul and life lessons and the curriculum for which we enroll. These aren't one-time lessons, but themes we choose to circle around, deepening our experiences of them as we make our way through the spiral of life. Life lessons aren't only about getting it right, they're also about getting it wrong. Remembering that Earth is a planet of polarity helps with this understanding. Each year, the study deepens more and more. If you pull this card while you're going through a difficult time, anybody going through a difficult time out there? Hey, Sally. Hey, Denise. If you pull this card while you're going through a difficult time, you are being prompted to remember that your soul came here to grow and learn. Try not to look at difficult times as getting it wrong. Instead, see them as opportunity for soul's growth. And I would have to say we are all hopefully learning a whole bunch of stuff with everything that's going on on the planet right now. Try not to look at difficult times as getting it wrong. Instead, see them as opportunities for soul growth. So see all of this as an opportunity, right? We chose to be here. We chose to incarnate at this present moment because our soul apparently needed to know what is happening and how to grow through this very interesting time that we are all living in right now. So instead of saying, oh shit, say I'm so happy and thankful that I chose to incarnate now to be part of, of all of this. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of all of the, of everything that's happening. We'll be okay. We've done this before. We don't remember another joy of the soul. We don't remember all of our lifetimes, but maybe you do. For the most part, most of us don't. But we're all learning something here in Earth School. Life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. So let's see what our angels and ancestors have for us to go along with this soul growth. Oop. Ah, the wise one. Grow within, <laughs> grow within your current situation. Uh, it's this kind of day. Grow within our current situation. We are all learning something. And pay attention to the wise ones. Pay attention to the elders. Pay attention that have been here on Earth School for a long time. Instead of us, you know, shooing everyone off to a nursing home, maybe we should actually be reconnecting with our elders and learning from them, learning from their mistakes 
so we don't make those same mistakes. And unfortunately here in America, we do not pay attention to history because we just keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again. And you know what they say, if you don't learn from your history, you're just bound to repeat it. Now, here we are in this, I don't even know what to call it. So grow within your current situation. Pay attention to the wise ones. Earth school. Who's going to teach us the things on, in earth school? Our elders, our wise ones. So pay attention. Pay attention to our elders, to your elders, to your soul tribe. Good morning, Jess. Welcome to earth school. So pay attention. Grow within your current situation. Our soul is growing. Our soul chose to be here right now. Pay attention to our elders. Pay attention to your history. Learn from your history. We've been through pandemics before. And guess what? There's more than one wave. Unfortunately, here in America, where our egos are so freaking big, we already think we're in the second wave. This is still the first one. We're just such dumbasses. The first one will never go away because I'm not going to wear a mask. I'm going to do whatever the hell I want, right? Welcome to America, land of the giant ego. All right, so we're in earth school. We're being told to pay attention to the wise one. Let's see what the keepers of the light have for us to go along with this earth school energy, soul growth, grow with your current situation. What do the keepers of the light have to go along with earth school? Oh, Ganesh. Infinite abundance, remover of obstacles. Spirit support and connections are increasing. Obstacles are being removed. Obstacles are being removed. And, you know, when we remove those obstacles, it's not always fun. It's not. It's not a, always a good time to let go of those obstacles. Because a lot of times we're holding on to those obstacles because we feel safe because they're there. But really, we need to let go of them. Om Gam Ganapate Namaha. Use Ganesh to get rid of those obstacles to allow that infinite abundance to come to you. And I always say this when the Ganesh card comes up. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. And you could be walking around thinking that life is great and all of a sudden the Ganesh card will pop up and then you'll start chanting to Ganesh and paying to Ganesh and all of a sudden you're like, where did all of these obstacles come from? So Ganesh has that beautiful thing of actually showing you as well where the obstacles are. So be aware Move cautiously when you connect with Ganesh. Because like I said, sometimes you think life is perfect and you start chanting to Ganesh and you're like, oh shit, all of these things in my life are a giant obstacle that's actually holding me back from my abundance. So realize that you're worthy of abundance. Start paying attention here in Earth School. You chose to be here at this present moment in time to do something, to learn something, to create something, to help, to inspire. Pay attention to the wise ones. Grow with your current situation. Get rid of those obstacles and allow abundance to flow to you. The abundance is yours, my friend. All you have to do is take it. Realize that you're worthy of that abundance. And Ganesh will be there to show you the obstacles and to help get rid of the obstacles. It's going to be a short, sweet one today because I, I, I like this. Earth school, wise one and Ganesh. Life lesson, soul growth. Pay attention to what you're learning. Connect to your elders and let go, let go, let go of the obstacles and allow the infinite abundance to come to you. Realize that you are an infinite creative being and abundance is your birthright. Have a beautiful Tuesday, everybody. Stay safe. Wash your hands, as always. Don't pick your nose. And let us all grow from this current situation that we're in. Hey, Heather. Thanks for being here. I will see you all tomorrow morning. Have a great day. Stay safe. And allow that infinite abundance to flow to you. It's your birthright.